Not being entirely straightforward about one issue does not mean that my son is guilty of the repulsive allegations and grave charges leveled against him. How many he gonna have? It's thousands of people wanting to try to sue him for the same thing. Getting drugged and waking up with sore booty hoes. Everybody that follow you, support you, in false and on their way to hell with some hot gasoline, Joy Bush draws on. That's right. That's them expensive draws. <laughs> Amen. You know what I'm saying? And they probably got your ass on them freak off tape. They got his own mama on that freak off tape licking ass too. That now, boy, like mama like son, licking ass and get booty. They some booty. They got they got an anal fixation. I went and I sought out professional help. Got to go into therapy. Man, get this bitch off my screen. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you whooped a couple more bitches after that. Shut your ass up. Okay, let's read this press release from uh, Natalie G. Figures. Aren't she a lawyer? Are you a lawyer? Lady, are you a lawyer or a goddamn uh, 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 OnlyFans model? That's the lawyer of one Janice Smalls Combs, mother of one Sean Perv Diddy Combs. Through her, Janice Smalls Combs, the mother of Sean Combs, through her undersigned counseling on the behalf of the Combs family. Who's the Combs family? I don't know, but Perv Diddy, her, and them children. That, that Perv Diddy about to get half his kid, half his, half his, half his uh, children, Locked up. I come to you today as a mother that is devastated and profoundly saddened. I come to you as a mother today that is devastated and profoundly saddened by the allegations made against my son, Sean Perv Diddy Combs. It's heartbreaking to see my son judge not for the truth, but for the narrative created out of lies. What lie? This lie? ...of abuse against music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. The video, captured on multiple cameras, shows Combs assaulting his... Really? That lie? Talking about lies. Now, lady, you the lie. You're lying. It's heartbreaking. It's just, uh, to hear, to bear witness to what seems to be a public lynching. See, this is what I don't, this is what, this is, why I do, here ain't nobody that's struck him up to no noose. There ain't no public lynching. What seems to be like a public lynching. Now, well, well, let's see, let's let's see somebody hang a noose around your neck and see if this is like that. Anyway, of my son before he before he has had the opportunity to prove his innocence, which he's not gonna do, is a pain to is a pain to is a pain to unbearable, is a is a pain too unbearable to put into words. Like every human being, I could tell a woman wrote this letter. Like every human being, my son deserves to have his day in court or to finally share his, his side and to prove his innocence. Yeah, <laughs> that's not going to happen. I'm not here to portray my son as perfect because he is not. Uh, we saw that. He has made mistakes in his past, as in whooping ass. Hold up, man. Let's play, the, let's play my Puffy song that I made. Y'all want to hear it? The baby, oh, baby. Uh. Uh-huh, yeah. It's all about the baby, y'all, oh, baby. Uh. Now, what you gonna do? Go get the lube and let Diddy bust in you. All right, anyway, that's enough jamming. My son may not have been entirely truthful about certain things, such as, as, deny, as, such as denying his, he has ever gotten violent with an ex-girlfriend when the hotel surveillance showed otherwise. Now, nah, that's the only one you caught him on. You think that's the only time he whooped her ass? Sometimes times the truth and a lie the truth and the lie become so closely intertwined that it becomes terrifying to admit to admit one part of the story, especially when that truth is outside of the norm or it's too complicated to be believed. This is why I believe my son's civil legal team opted to a, to opted to settle the ex girlfriend's lawsuit instead of contesting. Until the until, until contesting it to the end, no, they wanted to settle the lawsuit because they knew that they was gonna lose. Cause P D P D D did everything in that lawsuit, everything. Got the B got the BBCs to tell them to run up and run up and Cassie for them. 
while he watched. And while he, he he wanted to look at the BBC's booty hole. He's like, yeah, boy, if I can have one of they booty hoes. Puff is out here touching people's anuses. Sometimes the true life goes, uh, this is why I believe my son said, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Resulting in the ricochet effect as the federal government used this decision against my son by interpreting his admission as an admission of guilt. Now, they, well, let me tell you what they did. They knew she was telling the truth. And when he, when he settled, when he settled, they was like, okay, let's go investigate it. And they got witnesses. The feds did their homework, and they got your belt. They got your son, Perv Diddy Combs. And guess who taught him how to be a perv? You did. He was taught to be a perv by his pervy mama. What's up, ma? Everything's good, baby. I'm here with you. Yeah. I love you. I love you, too. Baby. Somebody going to hell. That's right. I say somebody going to hell. And Clive Davis, his pervy daddy. It's important to recognize that none of us, regardless of our status, are, are immune to fear or mistakes not being entirely straightforward about one issue does not mean that my son is guilty of the repulsive allegations and grave charges leveled against him how many he gonna have? it's thousands of people wanting to try to sue him for the same thing getting drugged and waking up with sore booty holes <laughs> <laughs> My ind many individuals who are wrongfully convicted and later exonerated had their freedom taken from them not because they were guilty of crimes they were accused of, but because they didn't fit the image of what society considers to be a good person. Your son is just, is evil. That's you and he are evil. And you taking up for him. You know he's evil. You taught him to be evil. History has showed how individuals can wrongfully convicted due to their past actions or mistakes. Yeah, you dumb motherfucker. Hold up. If he did some crime in the past, you get convicted. That's rightfully convicted. Watching the world make jokes and laughing my son's life crumbling before our eyes is something I can never forget. I don't care what you remember. I have to write it down, take a picture. Watch my YouTube videos. I'm going to keep making them. I'm laughing. Like, look, this thing was doing some bent over let Diddy chase your dude do. And watch. My bad, y'all. <laughs> you came right on time, though. No. I never forget. I don't care if you don't forget it. Shit, yeah. It, what is our fault for laughing at him? Shit, what the fuck? What the fuck, man? These ladies crazy. It's truly a, a, a agonizing to watch a world, the world turn against my son so quickly, and easily over lies and misconceptions without ever hearing his side of, or affording him the opportunity to present his side. We've been sitting here for a year talking about Puffy, and he ain't say nothing. But when he when that video came out, he pulled out that BS. He pulled this out. Hold up, time out. He pulled this crap this crap out his ass. Disgusted. Behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy. Man, get this bitch off my screen. Sit over there. He was, he's sorry he got caught. Going to therapy. I sought out professional help. Nigga, man. I, 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 I bet you whooped a couple more bitches after that. Shut your ass up. Uh, these lies thrown at him are motivated by those seeking fi financial gain and not justice. Oh, yeah, they're seeking both. They want money and justice, and they finna get both, buddy. Oh, yeah. These individuals saw how quickly my son's civil legal team settled his girlfriend's lawsuit, so they believe they can receive a quick payday by falsely accusing my son. False allegations of sexual assault thrown throughout the Throughout true victims of sexual violence. They are true victims of sexual violence. You just try to take up for your son 
I, I know that's your baby. You got to take up for your baby because you taught him how to be a perv. Y'all be in them P. Diddy parties licking booty together. You nasty, you nasty heifer, and you nasty, you with your nasty bastard son. Paul, I wouldn't let him eat out of nothing in my mm -hmm. house. Nasty buzzer. That's right. To make matters worse, the federal government is now using those lies to prosecute my son. Well, the federal government, they can't, they can't sit there and use lies. They sit there, they sit there, and they raided his house and got the freak off tapes. And everything on that freak off tape that Cassie said in that lawsuit must have been on one of those videos. And they rang his ass up. You know what I'm saying? And they probably got your ass on them freak off tape. They got his own mama on that freak off tape licking ass too. That now boy like mama like son. Licking ass and getting booty. They some booty. They got they got an anal fixation. This injustice has been unbearable for our family. Man, that dude, y'all brought it on yourselves. Nigga having you you had a baby for a snitch. And what you what you what you expect to get? You had a baby for a bitch ass. What the what 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 you expect to get? And if you dated a bitch ass, you probably a bitch ass bitch too. And then you have y'all both had a son, and guess what he was gonna be? Pecker sucking. Puss ass. Worst part of this idea is watching my beloved son stripped of his dignity, not for what he did, but what for people chose to believe about him. I believe it too. They all can't. It's hundreds of people said the same thing. They all can't be lying. They all can't be telling the truth. That is that is a fact. They all can't be telling. That some of them lying, but some of them telling the truth too. And on table one, and I believe it's more than one. I believe more than half of them telling the truth. By they, by him, by by so booty hoes and baby oil. They found baby oil. What he got all that baby oil for? And dildos, dildos and baby oil. And everybody's talking about. I woke up with a hurt ass. You could put two and two together. Anyway, I asked his supporters, fans, call, colleagues, friends, and the public not to judge him before you've had the chance to hear his side. I beg you to think about those who have been wrongfully prosecuted. Oh, he ain't. He ain't it. Oh, he ain't it, buddy. He's rightfully prosecuted. And to remember, not everyone who has made mistakes in their in life deserves to have their whole entire existence judged by a single action or a few mistakes. Oh, yes, they do. Oh, they do it all the time. Oh, they do it all the time, baby. But he did more than a few. My son is not the monster they have painted him to be. No, he's worse. He deserves his chance to tell his side, and I can only pray that and I'm alive to see him speak his truth and be vindicated. Oh, I want you to see it too. So you so you wake up out of that. Your, put your son, I don't know if you knew, but your son, your son is one of the worst people who ever walked the face of this earth. Respectfully submitted on behalf of Janice Smalls Combs and the Small and the Combs family. Natalie figures if you wrote this, you ain't shit either. I'ma just keep it a buck. Boy, but Natalie Figures look good. Y'all want to see her Instagram? I knock her down. Natalie Figures, you can get it, baby. Woo! This is her lawyer. Yeah, damn, Natalie. Woo, woo, boy, 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 boy. I bet, I bet, she, I bet, I bet it ain't a nah dude ever try to use a condom on you. I hit it raw too. Why, right, baby? I take one. Shit, you don't want it. You don't want it. But this is her lawyer site, boy. She got a hundred. Boy, this is right up P. Diddy Alley, though. Ooh. No, I don't want to like this. Oh, she a lawyer. Oh, you a lawyer. Lady, are you a lawyer or a goddamn uh, 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 OnlyFans model? All right. Anyway, Natalie Figures, Esquire, Florida Bar number 1000. Anyway, counsel for Miss Janice Small Combs. She be at the party. Man, she be at the party with P. Diddy licking booty with her son. I don't want to hear that. What's up, ma? Everything's good, baby. I'm here with you. Yeah. I love you. I love you, too. Mm -hmm. Do you think Diddy will chase some people down with him if he get arrested? Oh, my man. Come 100%. Oh. 100. His daddy was a rat. Hold on. Let me just. I know this ain't got nothing to do with art, but I'm going to tell his story. It was this gangster, right? He said, when you go there, kill the father and kill his son. And the guy said, his son is only a baby four years old. He said, his father was a rat 
and he gonna grow up to be a rat too. It ain't no way. That's absolutely true. He go. It's hard. It, it, it's it's hard, man. It's hard. I I didn't had I didn't had I'd have been faced with having a rat, and man, it's 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 really not hard to do it. Cause I don't like the police. Cause I tell the police go stick, go 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 fuck it, go 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 go, I, you know. So it's not hard to not rat. If if you hate the police as much as I hate them, it's hard. It's not hard to not rat. Cause I ain't, I ain't finna sit there and cooperate with them. That he gonna go down, you understand, and not take nobody with him. His father was murdered because he ratted out his team that he was working for. So you think he not going to rap like father, like son, brother? Yep. That's <clears throat> Okay, y'all. See, I'm trying to tell y'all, Diddy go tell on everybody, man. He telling on everybody. Hold up, man. But I believe. Wow, man. I didn't know that. So Diddy dad was a rat? My man, I had a conversation with New York Freddy. Omar took me to a meeting because New York Freddy wanted to talk to me. He said, yo, I've been trying to get in touch with Russell Simmons and I've been trying to get in tough, tough touch with Puff because I wanted to tell him the true story about his father. You understand? I said, yeah. And now this is New York Freddy, one of the biggest gangsters in Hawk. Puff father used to work for his team. He was brought in by one of his best friends. So he's telling me the story how Russell Simmons used to work for him. You understand? He said, you, Russell Simmons used to take my laundry, you know, to the cleaners and everything. He said, I had a glass table with a million dollars in my office. You know, I had a million dollars in a glass tape. You know what I'm saying? Of hundred dollar bills in a glass tape. I said, yeah, he's telling me his whole stuff. He said, Russell Simmons used to work for me because I, I was starting a record label back then. I said, okay. And if you look up New York Freddie, Freddie Myers, you can see when he was picked up, he was picked up with a whole lot of, he had stacks of money in his house in the basement uh, in Mount Vernon. So he said to me, he said, yo, we had cops on the payroll. He gave a cop, ten, uh, one of the cops brought information. He had the paperwork and he had Puff Father take confession. He gave him 10 extra, 10,000 extra dollars for it. Right? Puff father told on their operation. New York Freddie told the guy who brought Puff father into his crew, you got to handle it. I want to handle it. So then um, he said, I want it handled. So now the dude handled the situation. Pop. Puff father was driving, driving the cab. He met him on Central Park West and did what he did. And so I said to uh, New York uh, Freddie, I said, yeah, he said, and the guy who killed him was carrying the casket, crying the hardest at the funeral. I was like, oh, now check this out. I was going to tell his story on my members only page on my YouTube channel, The Gene Deal Show. Only my men, hey, but I'm gonna give it to you. It's this lady that told me she was dating Puff Father at the time, right? She was dating Puff Father at the time. She said she was waiting on him uh, cause they were supposed to be going out to Smalls Paul. It was either Small Paul, she said, or it was um, this place up there on McCoon's Bridge. I got it because she texted this whole thing to me, bro. It's crazy how she texted me this whole story. She said she said that she never knew why Puff father was killed. He said the word got through Harlem that he was murdered. You understand? And she went up to the, the bar the next day and the same dudes was on his team that he worked with him, sold drugs with him. New York Freddy and their whole crew he said they was in the bar laughing and talking like nothing had ever happened. She said, thank you, Gene, for telling me that story about New York Freddy and Diddy father because now I know what happened to him. So Melvin Combs was a, was a rat. 
and and these got this came from a gangster. So Melvin Collins was a rat. A low down, won't tell on everybody type. So what kind of lady would fall in love and have a baby for somebody like that? And how you think she gonna raise her, that son? And that's how you get son perv diddy cones. She be at the freak house with him, licking, licking, licking and sticking and, and drinking and, drew, and and doing all kind of. That, that's just how they roll. Like mother, like son. Like father, like son.